be showing you guys how to make a Roblox YouTube icon from with your Roblox or using your Roblox character for free using two different softwares one of them which you already have which is called Roblox Studio you get that whenever you download Roblox anyway if you didn't know I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that and also you will need um, Blender which is also very it's, it's also free and you don't even need to make an account you just download it and use it so guys let's just get straight into the video and for today's video I will be using Dennis daily I, I know everyone knows Dennis so I was like you know what why don't I just use him for the video um, so yeah we're just gonna use him for the video so the first thing you guys need to do is go over to plugins or actually no first go to view and make sure you have this properties tab on uh, you'll see why later and then just go over to plugins when you go to over to plugins I want you guys to press this load character which is made by already pro if you guys don't have this I will link it in the description below click on that and over here type in the character of the name of your character all right okay there we go and for today's video we're gonna be using Dennis daily and it spawned the R15 now he is spawned right here there he is and now you want to change the face so by doing that you go over to Google Chrome and press Roblox and then once you're here go over to games that is the games my bad catalog my bad go over to catalog and then press body parts after you click body parts press faces now you can choose whatever face you want here guys whatever face you desire it doesn't matter how many robux it is or how cheap it is it don't matter for today's video I'm gonna use this red goof just because I think it's funny go ahead and press control C go over back to Roblox studio this is why I said keep your properties open because now when you click on Dennis daily actually do a quick thing right here like click on him many times before he gives you the name press the space bar and then press enter that way his name is gone then you see this arrow key right here click on it go down where it's the head click the arrow again and it'll take you to the face once you're at face click on the face and this orange thing will pop up for his head and the properties tab will give it will give you these things and what you need is texture why you need texture because when you click on that and over here go back to red goof if I didn't explain quite thoroughly this link up here I, all you gotta do is press control C that way it'll copy it and then go over here and press when it's highlighted press control V to to paste it and that way now your Dennis is red goof <laughs> all right so there you go that's all you have to do pretty much in Roblox studio guys so after this you just click on him or the name doesn't matter go over here right click press export selection and then save him as an OBJ file which it will do by itself you can't change it it only saves as an OBJ name him like Dennis or something all right Dennis there we go after this guys you can just close out of Roblox studio you will not need it anymore all right next thing we have to do is open up blender yes blender when you open up blender you're gonna see this and you'll be like what is that what is that how do I use that I'm lost I want to click off the video this looks hard it's not for me stay tuned all you gotta do is press the delete tab on your keyboard and then press delete after you do that move your camera around by using shift F and move around like so if you want to go faster press shift again now you're here and just just theme don't mind that and then once you're done positioning it press enter go over to file and do not press open if you guys press open this will not work for you please don't press open I see a lot of people making this mistake don't press open go down to where it says import and when you're on import go over to wavefront obj file that is the one you want to click when you click on that you will see your downloads folder I save it to my downloads I don't know if I make that specific enough you then save it to your downloads and not a desktop folder because if you save it to your desktop folder the texture of your character does not come out the way you want it to so make sure you guys click on the downloads folder now when I opened blender I didn't have a downloads folder here so what I did is I was on my desktop 
folder and I went over here and I clicked on it and then the thing popped up and I pressed delete 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 and then I typed in downloads right there when you do that and you press enter your downloads folder will open now we're here and then I'm gonna open up the one that I just saved which is there in this daily one dot obj so let me go ahead and open that click on it and then just press import once you do that your Dennis character is here well your character it'll, it'll be your character all right um, and then what you want to do you'll see him as gray and you're gonna be like what is that so just click on the red don't worry about that real quick just click on the red arrow and if it moves like like if you guys think you're gonna run out of room to move him don't worry about it like if you if you if you go it'll the mouse will end here but then it'll start here again same way backwards as you guys can see now press shift and F again and move him over here I think that's good enough where is that and then right here you're gonna be like well he's gray this isn't helping me at all why is he gray I don't want him gray so what you guys gotta do is click this plus sign actually up here and then I want you guys to come down here and press textured solid then as you guys can see all his things are back and after that I want you guys to come down here to where it says ambient occlusion and go to strength and press zero and enter that will give it that sort of shiny look and then I want you guys to go to shading and where it says sky on alpha change it to transparent this way when you render out your character it is transparent in the background meaning later when we go into this free site called pixlr to put a background to it and make it look like a real nice icon thing video um, nice icon image um, you can do anything you want with the background then um, after you do that guys close shading and go over to the world icon and over here I want you guys to click on ambient inclusion check it environmental lighting check it and direct ch lighting check it all those three make sure you check it then I want you guys to come over to camera again and to change these resolutions to 4k which makes it look really really nice I want you guys to open up Google Chrome go over to Google and put 4k resolution and now it'll tell you 3840 by 2160 then you open up blender again and over here put 3840 by down here 2160 when you do that press enter and then go over here and put render percents and click well I already have a 4k and and if you guys don't just press the plus and name it 4k and I press ok and after that every time you guys come on to pix I mean blender again you guys can just drop this down and click 4k instead of having to um, as you guys can see like I could change it like that and just press 4k and it comes back you don't have to type in the numbers again which is really really nice after this you have one more step to do and it's to right click on this cam this camera thing right here you know, make it yellow press the zero on your N number pad and then move it again by using shift F and W A S D and this way you guys can like we'll get real close on Dennis um, you know you could just like you know that's not, I'm just kidding don't do that it's weird um, go over here and this is what you're doing right now is you're in the camera so anywhere you position it it will get that much of your um, character so I'm gonna take the whole thing guys I recommend I recommend you guys to take the whole thing because then you could um, you could later resize it on Pixlr you don't have to like if you guys only want this much of him you know I, I mean I guess you guys can but I just take the whole character and then later crop it out as I want press enter and you guys will be here after that go over here to you you should be already be on the camera and press render now this might take longer depending on what type of um, computer you have for me it takes you know it's it, it happened in like a second it, it works great as you guys can see now Dennis looks really 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 nice he looks shiny he looks polished it looks good because of the lighting and stuff this is why we use blender it makes it look like this compared to the Roblox you guys saw later I mean earlier now what you guys want to do to render out this image go to over here down here where it says image click on it and if you guys 
don't see that for some reason I believe you yeah you go up here to render it'll do the same thing render image oh no that was just to render uh, um, I think it was file or something oh yeah file and then press save all right or you guys can go down here to image save as copy I usually do that and I put it in my downloads and then over here put it as Dennis one two all right I'm gonna save it as that all right save image all right now we're done with Blender. Close out. It says, do you really want to quit? Quit and just press OK. It's fine. Go over here. Go to Pixlr. Now that you are on Pixlr.com, go ahead and put Open Pixlr Editor. Do not press Pixlr X. Even though it is the updated version, it doesn't work as the way I want it to with Pixlr Editor. So I go ahead and I open up Pixlr Editor. And then you press Create a New Image. And you put Width 800. And you put the Height to 800. And then press OK. Now click next to the X button. There's this maximize button. Click on that, and it'll make the image go like that, which I like it, like that. I can't work the other way. It looks weird. And after that, I go to layer and I put open image as a layer. And when I open that up, and I now put the thing that I saved it as, which is blue, purple. And now we're here. And I go to edit. And I go free transform. Press shift, or I don't have to press shift because now I'm just moving it around maybe like right there it looks pretty nice and then press enter now the second thing you want to do is open up a new layer when you open up a new layer bring in your Dennis bring in Dennis 12 Op bring him in he'll be like this let's crop him out with this marquee tool go ahead and go like that drop it down all the way Go Control C, then close it out. Press No, and then press Control V. Now the reason why I press it as a new layer is because if I want to make a change later, later I don't want it to be with the other layer. If you guys know what I mean. Now that he's here, go to Edit and go to Free Transform, and make sure you press Shift when you are transforming him down so that his resolutions don't change. Now I want him like right there. I think that's good enough for me. Press Enter. And then go to layer 3, press on it, right click, go to layer styles, and I usually put an outer glow to him. There we go, white, hardness all the way, and then I usually put this to like, as you guys can see, this thing changes as I, you know, you don't want that, that looks ugly. Um, you want it like right there, I think that's pretty good right there. You don't want it too much. Like, I put it on 12, I think that looks pretty nice. There we go, and then again, add a new layer. Now what you want to do is want to put like a border to him. So by doing that, I'm going to show you guys like a quick example right here of like if you guys mess up, um, you guys like, like look, if you guys, first of all, you want to click on the drawing tool right here. You know, let's just say I want like that and it's black. Maybe you guys don't want a black one. What you, what you guys can do is go down here, go to color, put it on like red or something, but it won't change. What you guys got to do is click on the bucket, paint bucket tool. And then when you click inside it, it'll change to red. Then you may be like, oh, I don't like that at all. How do I take it off? A couple of things you could do. You could press layer 4 and then on that check mark thingy and it'll go away. Or if you guys don't like that um, because you think it's still there and blah, blah, blah. You could, cl you could click this eraser tool and then just erase it. And it won't even take out the background because you're on a new layer. You guys see what I mean. Now we're going to change this back to black. And then go over to the drawing tool. And this guy's you guys are gonna eyeball it. It's not gonna be perfect. Click from like the outside fold and bring him in as much of the like border you want it to be on. Like I think that looks pretty nice. And then I'm gonna go with this again and get like here. And obviously guys, this is pretty good for being a um a free website. I th I think um it's pretty good for being a free website. Obviously it's like it's not like Photoshop where you can make the border look really, really nice and stuff. But I think it is still pretty, pretty good. All right. Now what you guys want to do is go to, since you're on layer 4, go to Filter, put Gaussian Blur. And as you guys can see now, it actually looks better. If I take the blur up or cancel it, it looks like that. But if I go to Filter, I put Gaussian Blur, it looks like that. And it makes it look pretty nice, I think. Uh, I think right there, that looks pretty nice. And you can mess around with this, you know, go to filter, 
let's try like a box blur that doesn't look good at all um, you know just mess around with it you could even sharpen it and stuff like that um, you could do anything you want guys honestly so yeah just going to filter uh, there's a bunch of things here guys but I think like this with the border looking like that like maybe I might actually go to filter go to Gaussian blur and take it down a bit mm -hmm. to like oh it's not actually I'm gonna get so much no more so there we go like that I think that looks pretty nice and like you could use this for your icon you could put more things like if you want to put a text right here you could do that too you just click on it and then you go to Ver Verdana which it always goes on and you could just change the font like let's see if I wanted to put like heroes legend and then put Dennis daily let's say I wanted to do that and then I want to change the size of it to like right right there nope that's still too big <laughs> I want to put it to 45 nope no more 60 yep there we go you guys might be like oh well that looks pretty ugly don't worry about that real quick you can go over here to Dennis daily right click on it layer styles outer glow let's say I want to put this to like yellow because I think black and yellow look pretty good you know and then you, I mean you could do anything you want on here honestly guys like you go like that you know something like that Dennis daily let's say if this was his YouTube icon there you go and that is how you guys can make a YouTube icon then you could just go to file save and then save it as high as quality as you can press ok and I put um, YT icon or something guys it don't matter after that what you guys want to do is go to YouTube again and go over here to your icon thingy click on it and then press your channel after you press your channel you'll come up here this is this is what you will click if you wanted to change your banner but this is what you want to click if you want to change your icon you click on that and then you click on the file that you just exported and I save what did I just save it as YouTube icon yeah so you will click YouTube icon if you saved it as a YouTube icon icon or whatever name you saved it as you just click that and then you change it to that icon so that is how you guys can do it um, if I did miss anything make sure you guys put in the comments if you guys want me to show you guys how to make thumbnails or for Roblox how to record Roblox using OBS or how to pose your Roblox character before even rendering him out go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will make those videos if you guys want me to other than that I will see you guys in the next one